Hello everybody, Dr. Eric Hahn here from Oasis Chiropractic and Dr. Naomi is going to also help us with telling you some core exercises to work on. We have a lot of patients that are interested in strengthening up their core, uh, especially a lot of uh, golfers and people in, this, in these spring sports, baseball players, tennis players. Um, and so we're going to show you a couple of exercises to avoid and then we're going to talk about some stretches to help stretching out some muscles and then we'll also talk about uh, two or three really good core exercises. So Dr. Naomi will kind of narrate and I'll kind of demonstrate. Um, it's really important that we, we get this idea of bracing down. So our core muscles, we should think of them more as brakes or as stabilizers than as big movers. And so one of the easy ways to understand this, this core thing and bracing is if you put your fingers on the front of your abs and then behind kind of the back extender muscles and what you're going to do is just try to tighten up your core and push out against your fingers okay and then you want to talk about some of the exercises you want to do so first i want you to do a bridge okay so lay on your back with your knees bent elevate your hips until you are in a straight line with the body hold for about 10 seconds and then return to the beginning position and rest for a couple seconds. Repeat this about 10 times, and this can be repeated about every other day. And then if you wanna do a level two, go ahead and do the bridge for me and extend an, a leg, so it should be about parallel with the other one. And you'd hold that for 10 seconds and switch. Good. A level three would be if you grab a ball This would be if you're comfortable doing the first two. Go ahead and do the bridge. And hold for 10 seconds and release. And you can repeat that about 10 times as well. The next exercise we're gonna do is a plank. So with the plank, you want your entire body off the ground minus your feet and your elbows, your forearms. So right now he's in a standard planking position. You wanna see the nice flat back here, following down flat through the legs. And you hold that for as long as you can, usually 60 seconds is a good um, marker, but you'll work your way up to that. So for a level two, we can grab a ball again, put the ball at your arms and plank, holding straight. So you're bracing this entire time. So the brace we taught you at the beginning, he's bracing the entire time, so holding those core muscles. Now if you wanna make this a little more exciting or move up a level, you wanna stir the pot, we call it. So he's moving the ball in a round motion, in a circular motion like you're stirring a pot. All right, so another type of plank is a side plank. So if you have shoulder issues, I would highly recommend not trying the side plank. All right, so if you do have shoulder problems, another option would be to put your feet up on a chair or a couch, something stationary at home, and then go ahead and do the side plank. So you're just lifting your hips off the floor so it's level, your whole body is flat, straight. All right, so, so those are our main exercises that we wanna focus on. There's uh, two exercises that we're gonna typically recommend that people avoid and the reason being is these are now instead of using your core muscles as brakes or stabilizers we're using the core muscles as movement and so they typically can cause some problems especially if people have low back pain the first one would be a crunch and so we'll see people that are bending forward a lot of times they'll use the muscles wrong or they're putting their hands behind their head to pull themselves up that's not going to be helpful for certain muscles and we'll show you how to stretch those and the other ones we want to avoid is the straight leg raise we're moving the foot up one at a time or two at a time and you'll see people kind of going side to side again we're using those muscles as movement muscles versus stabilizing muscles so to stretch we want to stretch these core muscles on the front specifically the psoas or the hip flexor and we usually tell people to do this in a three-stage way one with your foot pointing forward we're going to step forward with the opposite foot, so we're stretching the back leg, foot's pointing forward, and we're just lunging forward, keeping this back leg straight. You should feel like a kind of across the front here. 
The second way, we will turn the toe pointing outwards, still stepping forward, and you'll feel that stretching across the front of the hip more on the inside. And the third level would be turning your toe in, stepping forward, and you'll feel that stretching across the outside of the hip there. Another really good exercise is if we're going to be on, uh, for stretching, if we're going to be on our hands and our knees, we would be able to call this the cat and camel stretch. Tuck the chin, arch the back, and you can kind of walk your hands down to sit all the way down like this. And then we come back up, drop the stomach down, tip the head up, and we can walk the hands forward all the way out like that. To turn this into a strengthening exercise, we just put one hand forward, try to keep your back straight as we're coming across. The leg will extend out, the opposite leg can extend out. To make it more challenging, we would go opposite at the same time. And then if we can't use our arms for shoulders are a problem or if knees are a problem, I'll grab the exercise ball. The, uh, the other option we could do here would be to, to do something like this on the exercise ball. So we'd be on our stomach on the exercise ball and we would just be extending the arm out like this. Again, using the core muscles as a brace or break. All right, now if you're trying these exercises and you have any questions or if you have any pain or problems with the, at the exercises, we highly recommend you come in and get evaluated here or in another chiropractic office. It's really important to know the condition of your spine prior to starting any of these exercises to make sure they're going to be the most effective for you.